Okay, in this video, I'd like to continue on with my tutorials on vector calculus for electromagnetism. This is video number 9, and I'm going to discuss why the gradient is perpendicular to your function. I'd like to draw your attention to my website, universityphysicstutorials.com. The previous video to this is number 8, where I discuss the normal vector. Now, in video 8, I spent quite a bit of time showing you why, how to get the normal vector to a function. And for this reason, this video is going to be very short, because I'm just going to use that result. And to be honest, I'm actually going to be repeating it, but I want to, we'll say, phrase it in this particular way, because that's what we do in electromagnetism. So, the gradient. The gradient of our function, we'll say, is this, okay? And that's, let's say, it's going to be del f in two dimensions, del x i hat plus del f del y j hat. Okay, in two dimensions, that's the gradient of our function. All right, now, if we take a random curve, and we want, we'll say, to evaluate its tangent at a particular point. Let's call the tangent at the point x0, y0. Well, the tangent is going to be gotten by the derivatives. That'll give us, the, so we're going to have, we're going to need del f, del x, and we're going to need del f, del y. That will give us the slope of the tangent line. Plugged in the point x0, y0 will give us the equation of the tangent line. Now that's touching the, the, uh, the curve in black at only one point. So the unit no, or the, the normal vector is by definition perpendicular to to your tangent line. Okay? So that means let's say this is this is the normal vector, okay, and this is our tangent vector, that means that n dot t is equal to zero. So if two if if you have that product is zero, then they're perpendicular. Note of course we actually have two uh, two normal vectors. Of course this is a, this is an equally valid normal vector. What we call this minus n. Now, which direction you call positive and which you call negative is completely up to you, provided you just you're consistent with your signs. So, what we found in the previous video is that the we found that level curves existed. We'll say when we had the gradient of f dot product with the tangent function. I'm going to call it just t for tangent was zero. That's when we, that's what we found were the level curves. But this implied that what it, what it implied was that at level curves the gradient, the gradient was perpendicular to your tangent function, but the only other, the only function which is actually perpendicular to your tangent is your normal. Okay, so that implies that the, the gradient of your function is your normal vector. So that's why the gradient is perpendicular to your function. And just once, uh, once more to say the unit normal is going to be. We'll say this is our normal vector. Well, the unit normal is going to be our normal vector divided by the magnitude of the normal vector, or which is going to be the gradient of our function divided by the magnitude of the gradient of your function. And why would you want that? Well, it gives you the direction rather than, it doesn't do anything else, but just gives you direction. And that's often very useful, in particular in electromagnetism. So, thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends, subscribe to my channel, and you might also visit universityphysicstutorials.com.